I have seen that I can document at least 75 popes in a row who have upheld torture. And this is historical fact. It was the popes that uh, gave the authority, as we saw. Lord Acton says it was primarily an institution of papal Rome. Even under Isabel and Fer Ferdinand in Spain, under the famous Spanish Inquisition, it was still under the papal inquisitors that the authority came and that the devices of the tortures were given by papal Rome. So for the Pope to apologize that it was somehow members of the church, this is a total mock uh, apology because it was papal Rome that did the horrific deeds for all these centuries and papal Rome has not apologized and uh, the sin remains and the same doctrines that they held then they hold today they hold through salvation through sacramental system uh, as they did at the time of the inquisition and they still hold to a type of sacramentalism by which a person looks to the communion bread that it can sanctify you it is not any physical thing that sanctifies it is the righteousness of christ jesus received by faith under the conviction of the holy spirit by which a person becomes a bible believer as the roman catholic church continues to embrace the increasingly popular ecumenical movement across the world it would be wise for all of us and especially bible believers to remember the lessons of history and to remain steadfast in our faith. Now, what happened the faith of believers at this time? The faith of believers stood strong. They knew that Christ Jesus had said that he would be with them. They knew that Christ Jesus promised to be with them all days, even unto the end of the world. They knew that Christ Jesus was with them and the power of the Holy Spirit that they could withstand the sufferings that they were going through. It is not just that Christ Jesus, who is the judge of all, will finally one day judge them that he will, and he will bring into light all the horrors of the past, but Christ Jesus was, even in those years, triumphing in the gospel and in the glorious faith of these men and women and sometimes even children suffering for the faith. They died because of their faith in Christ alone. They trusted in Christ alone and in his glorious gospel alone. And they withstood the torture to die for the true faith. And in that way, Christ Jesus was gloriously reigning, as it says in Psalm 2. And he was holding in derision those who would try to break up, up, uh, apart his, uh, his kingdom. He held them in derision, and they were triumphant even then. Look at the same Christ Jesus who, at the cross, suffered the most ignominious death one could ever imagine and what looked to be the greatest of all failures turned out to be the greatest triumph in mm. his sacrifice in the place of believers and mm. his righteousness credited to them and in the same way through all those horrible years he was triumphing in the faith of believers now Rome has not just given up. She has given up the, actually the physical tortures but she still has the same mindset as we gave from some of her canon laws of the present day and she still draws many onto her bosom but we are not to be afraid. Christ Jesus talked about the little flock. He told us that there would be few that would stand but they would stand by his power and so we know the true gospel is not numerical. It is 
brilliantly true that Christ Jesus has given his life, the one for the many, as you trust on him and him alone. It is to look to Christ Jesus and him alone for faith and recognize that you are destitute of anything spiritually and to trust on him and to share in that same victory of faith that was demonstrated through all those years before the throne of God and will be seen for all eternity. We need to remember that so many of them, especially in my country in England, had come out from the Roman Catholic Church and had uh, uh, been converted wonderfully to faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. And they were comforted, as we've already mentioned, by the scriptures, by scriptures like all who walk godly in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. And they had heeded the injunction of scripture uh, from uh, Revelation uh, 17 and 18, Revelation 18, come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins and that ye receive not of her plagues and they had been obedient and uh, they knew that the Lord had called them out and that gave them the strength and the fortitude and the perseverance that is so much the calling of all who would place their faith and trust their lives to the Lord Jesus Christ. Trust on the same Lord Jesus Christ and know the same joy that they knew and the joy that will be for all eternity as we give praise to the glory of his grace and his person. And we thank God for the remarkable faith of all those men and women. And to God be glory, praise, worship and honour now and forevermore. Amen and Amen. It involved tens of millions of people, possibly as many as 50 million. They not only knew who the Christ was, but very clearly they knew who the Antichrist was. In an age of barbarism, the popes led the pack. In an age of enlightenment, they trailed the field. Trust on the same Lord Jesus Christ and know the same joy that they knew. And a, a problem for the church today is that uh, we ignore history at our peril.